Namaste. So I'm going to do a side kind of sequence with the vinyasa and this is suitable for any kind who is a beginner to yoga in general. Uh, vinyasa is more like a flow and uh, connecting the movement with the breath. And uh, I'm going to focus on some kind of side types of yoga in this. So before I'm, I'm you know, coming now to the map, I have been doing uh, running. So I have run 10 kilometers. Uh, so I feel like I want to work with the side, side body, you know. So I hope you will enjoy this. And this is also why I'm, you know, sharing this is because I think that the yoga that I'm doing is very suitable for runners because I'm a runner myself. So I sort of have that, you know, association as well. So yeah, okay, let's go. Let's get to the top of the mat. So start in a mountain position with the feet together here, big toes are touching and draw the core and navel towards the spine and take the hands to the heart and keep the shoulders down from the ears and the you know, spine is long here. And then inhale and extend the arms up to the sky. And then we're going to do some side stretch here. So exhale as you're folding the upper body towards towards the right here and you can look up so you feel a nice kind of stretch on the outside of the left rib cage and then inhale and come up to the center with the arms stretching up and then exhale and take the upper body towards the left and draw the navel towards the spine as you're doing this and look up and then inhale come back to the center and then you're going to exhale and swan dive into a deep forward fold So keep the knees here slightly bent if you need to and just, you know, really let the sort of upper body fold nicely fold forward here. And then you're going to inhale and extend the spine forward and keep the legs slightly more straight here. And then exhale and step back the right leg. So you will have the left foot between the hands here. Place the right hand at the mat and then inhale and twist towards the left and extend the left hand and arm up towards the sky here and look up. And draw the navel here in towards the spine and keep the right leg really straight here, you know. And keep the left leg here really strong. And then you're going to exhale and, you know, circulate the left arm towards the mat. And then you will lower the right knee towards the ground here. So you will come into like a lunge position here, kind of, you know, with the, with the hips kind of sinking towards the floor here. And then exhale and shift back the hips and straight, straighten the left leg here with the left toes pointing up towards the sky. And inhale, come forward, and you can use blocks here if you need to, if you can't, you know, keep the hands on the floor. And then exhale and shift back again. And then one last time, inhale, come forward. And then you're going to, you know, exhale and take the right knee here and sort of place, place the, I'm just moving out. Some kind of painting here. <laughs> here. So take the right knee towards the right side here so the right toes are pointing towards the left side and then you're going to inhale the right arm up towards the sky sky, and then exhale and fold over towards the, the top of the mat here over the left knee. So you have a nice kind of side stretch here you know. And this is really stretching part of the sort of uh, core muscles. And then exhale and, you know, come back into to a lifted uh, right knee off the mat. And then on an inhale, step back into a high plank. So keep the elbows rotated forward. And then exhale, you can bend the knees here and lower all the way towards the floor with
with the elbows, you know, sort of squeezing towards the body. And then inhale, come into a small cobra and exhale to the floor. Inhale, again, a small cobra here. So draw the navel towards the spine so you would lift the upper body off the floor. And then exhale to the floor. And inhale, come into a full upward facing dog here. And keep the knees off the floor here and the arms are you know strong and the shoulders are down from the ears and then exhale back with the tailbone into downward facing dog so again draw the navel towards the spine here and really keep the arms long and also the spine you know so the head and the spine is sort of aligned you know so you're really getting sort of a down you know kind of an inverse inversion how do you say that inversion kind of position with the head here and then inhale come up on the toes and exhale bend the knees and you can step up to the top of the mat then inhale extend the spine and then exhale fold deeply over the legs here keep the knees bent if you need to and inhale take the hands up to the sky here together and then exhale take them back to the heart so we will do the same thing on the other side here you know so inhale extend the arms up to the sky nice and long and exhale fold forward inhale extend the spine and then exhale and step the left foot back so you have the right foot here at the top of the mat and then you're going to keep the left hand on the ground here and on an inhale twist the upper body towards the right side and draw the right knee towards the middle of the body you know and then you're just going to look up here you know with a nice kind of long right arm stretching up towards the sky and then you're going to exhale take the right hand down to the mat and place the left knee on the ground and come into a small lunge here you know or lung or whatever it's called you know I'm not, I'm not always sure about the words in English you know because um, I'm using other languages as well so let the hips kind of sink towards the floor here and then on an exhale extend the right leg uh, so you have it straight here and the right toes are pointing up to the sky and you can again use any kind of blocks here, you know, it doesn't have to be a yoga block, you can use a water bottle or some books or whatever. And then inhale, come forward with the right knee and again let the hips kind of sink towards the ground here. And then exhale, extend the right leg again and draw the navel in. And inhale, come forward. And then one last time, exhale back straight leg and as you're coming forward the next time on an inhale you're going to draw the you know the uh, right knee so you have it pointed towards the left side of the mat with the left toes pointing at the right here so I hope I said the left knee is pointing towards the left side here so inhale and extend the left arm up towards the sky so you get a nice stretch here on the side of the core muscles on the left side and then exhale and fold over towards the right here towards the top of the mat you know and support the right upper arm on the right you know above the right knee here and take a few breaths and really draw the navel towards the spine and then exhale you know take down the hand and Place the hand at the top of the mat and step the left uh, knee off the floor and also the right foot back, you know, so you are in a high plank here. And then on an exhale, you're going to lower all the way, all the way down to the floor, or you can also bend, like place your knees on the ground and then uh, lower the upper body. And then inhale, come up into an upward facing dog. And then you're going to exhale, 
into downward facing dog. You can roll over your toes when you're doing this. And if you need to, you know, keep your knees bent here in downward facing dog, it's totally fine. As long as your spine is straight, you know, that's an important thing here, you know. And then inhale, come up on your toes and exhale, bend the knees. And you can step up to the top of the mat and inhale, extend the spine. And then exhale, fold deeply over your legs here. And then inhale, draw the navel towards the spine and take the hands up above your head here. And exhale, take the hands back to the heart. So now we're going to do another type of side kind of flow, but this is going to involve some kind of warrior type of sequence. So we're going to get into downward facing dog first. So inhale, take the hands up to the sky here, nice and long, and exhale, fold forward over the legs. And then inhale, extend the spine, draw the navel towards the spine here. And then exhale, step or jump back into Chaturanga. And remember to keep the elbows pressing towards the upper body. Inhale, come up into a nice, easy kind of upward facing dog here. And then exhale and shift or roll back into a downward facing dog. And take a few breaths here, you know, in downward facing dog. And then on an inhale, you're going to extend the right leg up behind you towards the sky. Nice and long leg. And then on an exhale, you're going to step the right leg up to the top of the mat. And then you're going to place the left hand on the ground and inhale into a twist here up towards the right side. And then on an exhale, come up into the twist. So you are in a sort of a crescent pose, but you have the twist towards the right side here. And the arms are extended. And draw the navel towards the spine here. And then you're going to sort of wind, <laughs> windmill, or you're going to, how should I say? You're going to sort of, you know, circulate the hands. So you will, uh, I'm going to try and explain this. So you will try, take the left hand up and then the right hand down and you're going to just circulate the shoulders or arms. So you will come into a crescent pose with the hands are up towards the sky here. And then you can place your left heel on the ground so you are in warrior one and the hips are pointing forward and the right knee is nicely bent and then we're going to do ninja pose so release the right arm and you're going to sort of take the arms down towards the left foot here and sort of you know bend the left knee and extend the right leg here so keep the balance here and then you're going to sort of move on the side on an inhale and you're going to extend the left leg towards the back of the mat as you are keeping the right knee here kind of bent. And then inhale on another and come back into this sort of right leg extended towards the top of the mat in the ninja pose. And then on an inhale here, we're going to walk up. So you will come up to the top of the mat into a sort of, you know, lunge kind of lung kind of thing you know so extend the arms along the side of the body and keep this right knee bent here you know a 90 degree and with the, the left leg is extended and strong behind you and then inhale come back into crescent pose with the arms extending up and do not over arch the back here so instead you will draw the tailbone in slightly, you know, and the navel towards the spine. And then on an exhale, circulate the hands down to the top of the mat and step back into Chaturanga. And then inhale, come up into upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog.
Now we're going to do the same thing but on the left side. So inhale, extend the left leg behind you up towards the sky. The spine is nice and long. And exhale, draw the left leg up towards the top of the mat in between the hands here. And then you're going to place the right hand on the mat. And as you are inhaling, you're going to you know, come into a so form of a twist towards the left here with upper body, you know, draw the navel in, keep the left hand and arm strong here, you know, straight. And then you're going to exhale and come into that sort of crescent uh, kind of twist here. So keep the right uh, leg really strong here. And let the twist, you know, come from the upper body and keep the hips pointing forward and then you're going to sort of you know take the hands and windmill them kind of up into crescent pose and then step the right heel down on the mat so you are in, in a nice kind of warrior one pose here and now you're going to do the ninja pose so this will be on the kind of right side of the mat. So sort of take the hands down towards the right foot here and extend the uh, left leg here forward. The toes are pointing up to protect the knee. And then on an inhale, shift over so you'll keep the left knee here bent and the right leg extended towards the back of the mat and then shift over here on the side of the mat so you keep the left leg here extended and then on another inhale you're going to walk up to the top of the mat so you do letting the movement you know come from the hip and just you know aligning the knee knees with the toes all the time you know so come into this sort of high lunge or whatever you know and keep the hands along the side of the body, navel is drawn in and the core is really strong. Inhale, come up into crescent pose and look up towards your hands, you know. So this is a form of back bend here, you know, the hips are pointing forward slightly, you know. And then exhale, rotate the arms down to the top of the mat and step back into Chaturanga. And inhale, come up into upward facing dog here. Nice and long neck here. And then shift back into downward facing dog. And then you can sort of take a shorter kind of stance between the hands and feet on the mat. And what you're going to do now, you're going to take on an inhale, the right hand and grab onto the left, uh, you know, ankle here, you know. And support yourself with the left hand on the ground here. And then take the right hand back to the top of the mat. And, and on another inhale, you will grab the left hand to the right ankle here, you know. And then take back the left hand and step back into your kind of normal uh, downward facing dog and then inhale come up on the toes and exhale bend the knees and jump or step up to the top of the mat okay and then i'm just checking here the timing inhale extend the spine and exhale fold forward over your legs here and then inhale come all the way up with the arms into a nice mountain pose, draw the tailbone in and exhale, take the hands to the heart. And we're going to end here in a, you know, lotus, half lotus pose. So take like your feet almost like a hip distance apart. So you have your toes pointing out towards, uh, you know, towards the side and the knees are aligned with the toes. And then as you exhale, keep the hands at your heart 
and just let your sit bones sink down to the floor, you know. And keep the spine really long here, you know. So you will come into, this is called the goddess spot in uh, yoga. So draw the navel in here and then you can simply just sit back and come into a small kind of boat position here. So you have your feet and legs off the floor and you're sort of keeping the core really strong here. And you can keep the hands on, you know, on the side of the legs here. So you're sort of giving yourself a small kind of core workout. <clears throat> So it's about finding the balance here, you know, to be in this boat position. And then simply come into a half lotus. So try and alternate the feet here that you're keeping up, you know, in the half lotus. If you would be in a full, full kind of lotus, both of the feet are pointing up. So you can simply just place your hands on the knees with the palms facing up. I'm going to take this kind of camera over here and just sit back, let the shoulders sink down from the ears. Keep the spine really long here and nice. And just take a few breaths here, really deep and nice, you know, and just, you know, honor your practice and sort of say, I'm going to end this now. So I would say namaste and thank you.